Hi everybody, um, I know I kind of briefly touched on it in that last video, uh, but I wanted to kind of expand on it now. Uh, I, in the last video, mentioned the fact that there's a lady in West Virginia that won a court case against that collector for falsely saying that she owed them money and she really didn't. They were looking for, you know, somebody else. Uh, what it is, and I thought it was interesting, uh, the lady, and they actually showed her on TV, it was the lady from West Virginia that won that court case. Um, it was like, oh gosh, I think it was like, um, she won like several millions of dollars. And what was funny is the fact that the, um, people she wanted against were like, well, you know, we're going to see about overturning it. And, you know, they didn't even bother to show up, you know, for the case. So, I mean, it was just basically, you know. The judge looked at <laughs> the lady and said, you know, decided for her because, you know, the, you know, defendant was a no-show, you know, and it was a default judgment, or what is called a default judgment, you know, and I didn't mention this in the earlier videos I shot last year, but, like, if you do actually, and I didn't, I don't think I mentioned it in the, the other video either, but what she did was she actually got them, she had a phone, it was like a regular like a large phone that was like an office phone that like on like as you're looking at it there's like you know the handset here on the left and then like across you know with like the like the little screen and then like uh like you know the keypad where you like dial the number and then you know on the right hand side there was a spot where you could actually put in a CD a blank CD to record well you know she you know actually you know went on and you know, was shown about how she recorded it all, and she actually, you know, played what she had, and I mean, some of it, I was like, wow, I mean, and I've mentioned this before, you know, I was, yeah, once upon a time, a debt collector, you know, so, you know, they were like, you know, you owe this money, and you gotta pay it now, and blah, 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 and like I mentioned, and I believe, Debt collection pointers three or four. I mean, they're, you know, don't let them bully you. You know, because that's what they were doing. They were trying to bully her into paying a debt that wasn't hers, and you know, she could prove that it wasn't hers because she, like, said, "I don't owe credit cards. I don't have anything." And she's like, "I don't even have a job." I mean, what it is is she was the housewife from West Virginia. You know, her husband does all that work, and you know, she actually. You know, people hate dealing with her, like, big companies and stuff, because this is, as it came out and they mentioned this, this was, like, the second court case that she'd won against some big-name company. And I thought, well, you know, and when they talked about the other case, it was one of those things where, you know, the other company, you know, that she sued and won against, you know, made a mistake, too, and it was just one of them things where it just served them right, you know, for getting sued and losing. You know, and what ended up happening is the case this time against the debt collector. What ended up happening is is ended up being you know a bunch of like you know like no name company you know that it was just basically shells and went all the way back to like the original company that had bought bought the debt and you know it was just like a total mess on their end and they're like well we're gonna you know. We're gonna overturn it. You know, we don't believe that this was fairly done. We weren't even really represented, and and you know, they're like, well, you had all kinds of notification. You know, it's like they contacted you, blah blah blah, and they're like, well, you know, we're gonna overturn it. You know, well, you know, it's like, you know, they had their day in court, and they did have an opportunity to say something, but for some stupid reason, they didn't. You know, and that's one thing. I mean, it's like, and I've mentioned this. You know. Get this is why you need to get everything on tape, you know, basically. Um, you know, and I mentioned this in one of the other videos. You know that yeah, uh, you know Radio Shack. I don't. I haven't been in Radio Shack in years and years, but I think Radio Shack still might have the tape player where you can plug it into your phone and record conversations. You can do that, or for example, do like what the lady in West Virginia did, get one of them phones that has the CD slot in it where you can, you know, stick the CD in, you know, like, you know, CD like this, you know, this is a CD, you know, you stick it into the thing and, you know, like, you slide it in and, you know, it'll record, you know, and, you know, like, you know, 
like, you know, a CD like this, you know, you just, you know, stick it in, you know, business, in, you know, recording it down, you know, like you stick it in like you would do it in, like, you know, this computer here. Excuse me. Um, uh, gas. Um, you know, and record the whole conversation and make sure you tell them, you know, like I mentioned in one of the other videos, you know, hey, look, I'm recording it, you know. A lot of them, even the one that, you know, that lady from West Virginia recorded, it was like, I don't care. Some don't. I mean, granted, there are some that do care. And, you know, I didn't mention this in the previous videos, but I actually, you know, like, I had one try to trip me up when I was a debt collector, and I wasn't about to do it. I said, I can't tell you. And I'm like, oh, come on, you can tell me. I'm like, I'm not telling you. You know, because I knew it wasn't the debtor. I'm like, I'm not allowed to tell you why I'm calling. Oh, I can tell you who I'm calling for and what I'm looking, you know, I'm looking to talk to so-and-so about a private business matter. And I was like, you know, we'll just, you know, I'll just try again later. You know, and I wasn't about to fall for that trick. Because I was like, you know, I know better. <laughs> you know, I'm not falling for that trick, you know, because it, it wasn't worth my job. You know, because, and this is one thing, and I know I made the comment about, you know, making an unscheduled visit to a certain state. What it is, and I made the comment about, you know, they could sue you for it. That's why, I mean, like, I've heard, it didn't happen to me, you know, it's just there was some unethical stuff going on at the debt collection place where I was. They expected you to intimidate people and just lie and do all this stuff that, you know, I just, you know, found unethical. And I was like, you know, I'm not doing this, I'm leaving, bye. Um, you know, and that's what I did was, I was just like, I'm gone, you know, I can't do this unethical stuff anymore. You know, I had a problem with it. Um, you know, so, you know, they were like, you know, you can insinuate that you're going to sue them and stuff. And like I mentioned in the one video, in Texas, you're not allowed, they can't garnish wages or take their home or, you know, put a lien on their homes or what have you. You know, they actually have to, you know, I, don't, I can't remember offhand, or I don't think I ever heard what they do to you in Texas. You know, but, you know, it's one of them things where, well... You know, you can't really do a whole lot to them, you know. But anyway, I'm going to pause here uh, and, you know, think of some other stuff to talk about, alright? So hang on.